During the building of the electric walk-behind tractor, I was given the challenge of building covers for the batteries and electrical components. After doing some research on different materials to build a long-lasting and durable cover, I decided to build the covers from high-density polyethylene plastic, HDPE for short. HDPE plastic is found in a lot of items around the house. It can be purchased in sheets and it is easy to weld. For this video, I will show the process for welding plastic covers from quarter inch high density polyethylene sheet using an air welder. This process can be used to build water tanks and fuel tanks. For my practice welding, I cut strips from an HDPE plastic bucket to use for welding rod. Start by using the tacking tip. The tacking tip uses the hot air and the tip to melt the joint together. Make sure the hot air flow is pointed at the joint, but be careful not to block the air flow. Now install the welding tip. Since I am welding a heavier plastic, I will turn the temperature on my air welder to max. You will be melting three separate pieces of plastic, the two base pieces and the welding rod. So the air will need to be moved around to keep all three pieces gelling without overheating. Once the base plastic is gelled, put some heat to the rod and it will fold over into the joint. This is going to take some practice. The thinner plastic will require a lower heat setting. I now feel that I am ready to move on to building the covers. Plastic sheets can be cut like wood and they can be sanded and painted like wood. I will start with the battery covers. Tack the sides on. Always keep the heat ahead of the filler rod. I will also overlap my pieces so that I have a groove to fill. This may this will make a neater and stronger weld. If the weld doesn't come out perfect, I can always sand it down. Now putting the motor cover together. Tack the entire unit together. This will hold the cover square for welding. For the motor cover, I cut thin strips from my quarter inch plastic sheeting. This makes a good filler rod. I am also using all the heat that my air welder will produce. There will also be some downward pressure on the welding rod, so it will be best to clamp the piece being welded so it doesn't move around. I have noticed a small ball of molten plastic in my weld joint just ahead of the welding rod. This is referred to as the bow wake and it is an indicator of a good weld. Before cutting holes in my motor cover, I decided to fill it with water and see how I did. As I had hoped, no leaks. Here are my finished covers.
I will sand them and clean the surface for paint. Thank you.